Ah, another beautiful day. I think it's official to say that spring is here in Southern California. It smells so beautiful. The air is so crisp. Everything is just awesome. Except for what happened last night. Yeah. So last night, um, obviously something really uh, interesting happened to me that's never happened before like that. And uh, I, you know, I've always considered myself an athlete when it comes to farting. I really do. Like I know when to let it go, how much to let go, and just you know, I'm I am a professional. I've been doing it for many years, but that has never happened to me. And I uh, I didn't know what to say after that. I didn't know how to end the vlog. Even Kate was vlogging uh, like right after it happened, and I ran to the restroom. <laughs> And she was talking to me, and I didn't even know what to say. I was so embarrassed. I was so freaking embarrassed. By now, you guys know, you know, if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, you you probably get the idea of what happened. It was awful. And, and as far as I know, that's an internet first. So, yay me for being the first person to shart on camera on YouTube. That's, that's awesome. I think I'm kind of scarred. Even last night, like, I, I had to fart again. I was like, I don't want to fart again. When it happened, it wasn't like it was horrible. It wasn't like this huge disaster happened. It was just like one little kibble went boop. <laughs> and I was like, oh! It wasn't messy. It was like actually really clean. The sad thing was when I pulled down my pants to see the damage, it just like fell out and landed on the floor. And I was like, oh! <laughs> it was just like that big. Oh God, you guys don't want to hear this. All right, I'm, I'm going to continue with this day and I'm not gonna talk about this anymore okay okay so I just stopped by the gym real quick to see what my body fat percentage is and remember how in the beginning of the challenge my body fat percentage was like 12.5 percent or something like that that body fat percentage thing is so wrong it is so ridiculously wrong it said today that I was 13.6% body fat. Bullshit! Total bullshit! I'm ripped! How the hell am I possibly 13.6% body fat? Like, I got fatter in the last three months that I've been working out? Yeah, right. Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you guys, sometimes you don't want to listen to those machines. Look at how you look and feel how you feel. If those machines say you're fat and you don't feel fat, you don't look fat, it doesn't matter what they say, really. Ah! And what sucks is that's part of the judging. Like the judges are gonna look at what that thing says, even though that thing is not right. It is not, it is absolutely not. I am not fat. So I realize I tell my girlfriend she looks beautiful all the time and I never want it to get old, but I can't help this. Is, is this not beauty? Like she is, Oh yeah, and then she gives that face. You are insanely beautiful. I love you. I love you. Oh my god. Stop! I'm going red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. So it looks like we've got uh, one video pretty much done. We shot it. Me and Katie, by the way. Me and Katie video. And then two half videos. And it's just, the problem is it's really hard to get these cats to do things on command because you can't tell a cat what to do. They're not like dogs. I mean, granted, there are cats that work, you know, in television and stuff like that, and you can teach them things, but they just don't listen the same. They're very smart creatures, but this is what they do a lot. They sit. Smell floor. And smell floor. All right, since my kitties are sleeping, I think it is time to work out. Now, I would love to go to the gym today. I really, really would, but I need to be here. So as soon as I wake up, I can start filming and try to get something out for you guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work out here at home with just the little few things that I have here. So feel free to work out with me if you want to, and uh, maybe you'll get some results. All right, first things first, gotta get a little warm up in. A little warm up. Just get the body moving, get the blood flowing a little bit. I would go for a run, but I need to stay inside. All right, so I'm gonna start out by doing a core exercise. It's a really, really good core exercise. It feels really, really good. And here's how you do it. I don't have any weights in my hand. Of course, you can have weights, but don't do it, because I just, you'll know when you can do it. 
Anyways, sitting on my butt. <laughs> Bless you. I'm going to bring my legs up like this. Put my hands straight out into a diamond shape. And I'm just going to slowly go from one side. Bring it over like this. Keeping the hands extended. And down like that. Moving the body. Now it doesn't seem like there's that much happening, but I assure you, if you do this slow and long enough, you'll be feeling it. This is a really, really good workout. Something I've been doing a lot. And it hits a, a few different parts of your uh, midsection to give you those nice rippling abs. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this for a little while and then we'll switch to the next. Next, we are going to do, it's a, a toe touch lying on your back. Another good core exercise. Of course, right now, doing a lot of core exercises. So we're gonna superset this. It's gonna be like, ow, 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 by the time you're done with both of these. But this one's, this one right here, is, this is not that bad. All right, so I'm laying flat on my back. Bring my feet up in the air, keeping my legs straight. Put my hands out. One, two, three. All I'm doing is bringing my body up using my midsection to touch my toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do that about 20 times. All right, next we're gonna do push-ups, but they're not the uh, normal type of push-up. It's kind of, uh, it's something that I learned in survival, but at the same time, um, I do it, I think, just a little bit different. Regular, looks like a regular push-up. You go down, back up, walk yourself over, down, back up, walk yourself over. And I call that one. So we're gonna do this 20 times. Take some time, get some water if you have to. All right, now we're gonna work our triceps. And to work this out, all we're gonna do is uh, use the edge of your couch or a chair or whatever, and you're just gonna dip down like this. Um, to make it easier, keep your legs straight out like this on the floor and just dip down. For those of you who want more of a challenge, get something to stand on, put your feet up, and helps you go down just a little bit more. I tend to do this about 20 times to 25 times, depending on how I feel. Three, uh, uh, three times, three sets. All right, so we've gotten our core, we got our chest, we got our triceps. Now let's get our biceps. How are we gonna do that? I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have dumbbells at home. Of course, dumbbells being just the weights that you go like this. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I know most of you probably have plastic bags laying around like this and canned food. Well, guess what? The canned food, a lot of the times, will say how much they weigh right there. This is one pound. So let's just assume each one of these is one pound. I, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, well, that's, that's not that much weight considering there's only about 10 cans in there, that's 10 pounds. Well, if that's the case, then you're gonna have to buy yourself some dumbbells because yeah. This is, I'm just trying to make do with what we got. But for now, really, you can just grab this, go sit down, and lift. Now the proper way to lift this bag of canned food is to put your, knee, your elbow on your knee like this. Put the bag just like that, and lift. Now, of course, with the bag, you're going to have to go slow because <laughs> it's going to be moving around. And if your hand gets uncomfortable, because obviously it's you know, a bag, just put a towel around it or something. But I mean, that's, I guess, one way you can work out your biceps if you have no weights. But in my situation, I need to go grab my weights because this doesn't do it for me. I'm just work it out. Yeah. Can't help it. All right, I'll work out too. Oh. Thank you, Pooh, you did a great job. All right, now that we have shot a whole bunch of Mean Kitty videos. It's gonna freak me out a little bit. It is time to go eat. I'm taking her out to dinner because that's what I do when somebody helps me with four videos. That's right, we shot four Mean Kitty videos after all. Oh, we're awesome. And, and we're doing more Thursday. 
more Thursday because I want to have a collection of videos that I can just start posting on a regular basis on that channel, but I'm not going to make any promises of when I'm going to post it. Ah, stop it. Okay, so we're here at the Thai place we always go to, which is amazing. I always say that. But coming up here, I smell the donuts. I want donuts so bad. I'm not going to have donuts, but oh, the donut shop. It's right there. We can so grab a donut. <laughs> ah, oh my God. Okay, get away from the donut shop. Huh, miss donuts. I'm gonna have a donut. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So we're here at the uh, Thai restaurant and I decided to try something new. And when I said new, I really meant it. I have no idea what this is. I really don't. I just saw a really interesting name and ordered it. That's, that's interesting. I see bits of meat, I think, and uh, green stuff and fire. Am I supposed to stick it in there? I don't even know how to eat this. What the hell am I eating? I put something round in my mouth. No. And shit. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It's a I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> was that supposed to happen? I don't. Is that your tooth? Mm, that was a crunch. Am I supposed to be eating this? Do you have a pearl in it? <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> That's why I didn't eat I, seafood. Um, okay, I, uh, I'm, I'm still trying this. I'm not going to order it again, but it's worth, like... The entertainment. Entertainment? I'm entertained. Sure. <laughs> oh, God, the seafood will not leave my nose. I, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what I do. It is in my nose. Oh. oh, wow. Seriously. Like, the mussels, the first one wasn't bad. The second one tasted like I ate shit on a beach. And the third one, I feel like I drowned. <laughs> I drowned in the ocean and just, like, took everything in. Oh, God. So I finally got the taste of seafood out of my mouth by putting nuts in it. Oh, and so many sexual connotations. And with that, I'm going to end the vlog. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another Dude Like Hella. We're going to hit the gym like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.